A change in leadership tonight. After more than four years as the city's top cop, Ronald Surpass has retired from the New Orleans Police Department. The interim superintendent, Michael Harrison, was sworn in as the temporary leader of the NOPD until Mayor Mitch Landrieu selects a permanent chief. Today's simultaneous farewell and welcome means some big changes are on the way for the department and the city of New Orleans. Team coverage of the change in leadership now at the NOPD. Former anchor Norman Robinson is here again with the business community and how it's reacting to Surpass's retirement. Plus, anchor Latanya Norton is introducing us to the new man in charge, Michael Harrison. First, though, reporter Travers Mackle, he begins our live team coverage with more on what's next for Ronald Surpass. Travers? Well, Scott, an abrupt announcement earlier today. After more than four years, Ronald Surpass is out as New Orleans' top cop. And when asked directly if he was pressured or forced to step down, he simply answered no. It all started in 2010 with a handshake and a hug from Mayor Mitch Landrieu. Ladies and gentlemen, Chief Ronald Surpass. And it ended today in the exact same fashion. Ronald Surpass is out as New Orleans' top cop, announcing his abrupt retirement at City Hall Monday morning. Together, Mayor Landrieu and I and the brave men and women of this police department have laid a strong foundation for the future. The New Orleans native says murders are down in the city, anti-touts, more gang arrest, an improved working relationship with the district attorney's office, and reopened rape cases as his achievements. And says when he took office back in 2010, the NOPD was in shambles. Between 2005 and 2010, the train had come off the tracks. And Serpez says getting things moving forward was difficult. Under federal orders to improve training, the NOPD had to implement change. New policies were put in place dealing with the number of hours officers worked, how they investigated cases, how they used force, and how many hours they worked on off-duty paid details. Numbers fell as dozens of officers were disciplined, fired, and many more just left. Manpower is at an all-time low, and many criticized the chief for morale being at rock bottom with it. We have to be a constitutional police department and to uproot and change some of the long-term practices will meet with resistance. It will be disguised as a morale issue, but in some ways it's just resistance to change. Perhaps the biggest controversy Surpass faced was in 2011 when numerous officers and a city hall leader were suspended and fired over the red light camera ticket scandal and how officers were making side money reviewing those tickets. Surpass was cleared of any wrongdoing. And now sources tell the I-team he'll teach classes this fall at Loyola University and possibly play a larger role with an international association of law enforcement leaders. We have laid the groundwork. And the state confirms to us this afternoon that Ronald Surpass's official retirement starts tomorrow. He will collect almost $12,000 a month for the rest of his life. Reporting on your side at NOPD headquarters, I'm Travers Mackle, WDSU News.